You're almost saying like, don't bother buying me because I'm small and inferior and just don't bother buying me. Hi, welcome to the video. Today we are here at Rivington Pike or we will be soon, it's right up there. Never been here before, but I figured while I'm here, may as well do a little what's sold. Everyone seemed to like the Lake District one I did a few weeks back, so let's do another. So the first item is this, vintage Hornsey Saffron mug. This is the one that had a tiny little chip, got it for very cheap from the boot sale, and other one sold quick. This one's hung around a little bit, Went for £13.99 plus postage. And next is this Ed Hardy Villain perfume set. It's like a key ring, some shower gel, like a little miniature perfume, and a couple of other bits in like a presentation case. The case has been opened, but the contents inside were still sealed. And I put it up, I think, at like 200, 200. 50 even maybe at one point um, but I shot an offer out at 150 to somebody and they accepted and they paid they've had it and that I think I paid five or six quid something like that it wasn't a lot from a charity shop from a charity shop that these days is quite expensive so that was a good find that one so yeah like 120 pounds profit something like that that's good probably they were all like that right So next are these mushrooms. This is the second or third set that has sold. That's all of them gone now. I got all these for a boot sale for I think it's like 15 quid, something like that. It might not have been quite as much as that. And these ones went for 23 pounds plus postage. So not too bad, a bit of a random one really, mushrooms. And next is this set of three Skylanders new in packaging but the packaging did look like it had been opened but i don't think the contents have been taken out i got these from a charity shop the same charity shop that i got that really expensive single skylander from which i've got up at like a hundred and i don't know 150 have i got it up at something like that uh, these went for 49.99 plus postage so what did i pay for these it wasn't a lot like a fiver maybe not even that We were just walking past and Claire said it looks like a big Spider-Man head in here and it is <laughs> the crown the big Spider-Man head some kind of soldier not really what you expect to see in such an old building like this very strange and next is this set of Pyrex Autumn Glory is the name of it, $29.99 plus postage. I got this off a friend, he had it from, I don't know where he had it from, but he had a, a, a few things that he just wanted to get rid of. He had an Atari, which I bought from him, this set, and like an old DS and a couple of games. I think I paid 30 quid for the lot. Sold really quickly, much quicker than I thought it would. I thought it would just sit there for ages before somebody bought it, but nope, somebody asked a question and then bought it immediately for the full asking price, $29.99. Yeah, I've never been here before. I've heard people mention it, Rivington Pike, but didn't really know what it was, where it was, or anything. So it's not too far out from where I live in Blackpool. It's about an hour, just under an hour, not too far. So the next one is this Skylander set. Uh, it's a game, Portal, and five Skylanders. They went for £20 plus postage. Next to these glasses, I got these from one of my lunch break kind of thrift challenge videos that I've got going and they went for £19.99 plus postage. I paid £5.99 or £4.99 for these. I got two sets at the same time and these are the nicer of the two, I think. 
I went for a bit more than what I thought, a bit more than the other sales comps out there. But I thought I'd aim high and yeah, not a bad little profit for what they are. Oh look, what's that? It's that petrified wood. Harry Tornado would have a field day. He loves his petrified wood, doesn't he? What the hell is petrified wood? Is it an American thing? And why is he so obsessed? <laughs> Shout out Harry Tornado. found the Japanese lake right there. So next is this Lego Star Wars clock, 14.99 plus postage. This is the second one in quick succession that I have sold. And the other ones have gone a bit slower than I thought, to be honest, it has been interesting. Them. There's loads of people selling and that's the problem. I think I paid like the equivalent of like two or three pounds for it. So ten a profit, something like that. Just a tree. Just a tree. I wonder what it used to be though. I think it used to be a big building. Maybe. Yeah, me. Next to this Super Mario N Gamer Guide, fourteen ninety nine plus postage, and I've sold a few of these now recently. They just seem to be going. I sold a couple that featured Golden Eye because obviously the Golden Eye kind of remake or remaster or whatever it was that came out recently. I've not played it yet. Downloaded it, not played it yet. I got all of them for a boot sale at the end of last year for twelve pounds. And next are these McDonald's toys, Mr. Men. They keep selling, they keep selling. So very quickly, I just wanted to show you a list of the McDonald's toys that we have sold up to now. They are all there. And we have now broken even and we are into the profit, as you can see. So mostly the Mr. Men toys is what I've sold. I've done the fees here at 15%, although the fees will be a little bit less than that, I think, on in this category. But it gives you a rough idea. Paid £80 in total for everything. And we're into the profit, £20, 25 pence. Right now we've got 91 separate listings of McDonald's toys with lots of them having multiples. And that doesn't include the other items that we got in with these, like the Mrs. Toad figure, the Snoopy toys, and a few other bits that I got as well. And welcome to the new Falco's Flips headquarters. No. Only joking. That's where we're heading to, right there. Next is this lightsaber, and I sold it for eighty pounds plus postage. But it's the third person now who's bought it who has then said the size, the size isn't right. I'm like, how much clearer do I have to make it? It's very, very clear in the description and on the photographs. And yet they still bought it and I sent it and they received it and they're like, what's this you sent me? I was like, it's exactly what it should have been. So I've now got that back, refunded them. And fourth time lucky, hopefully. I've made it even clearer now. I've basically said, don't buy this, don't buy this. 
it gets to a point where you kind of put so much information into the listing that people just like they just don't end up buying it or you kind of saying you're almost saying like don't bother buying me because i'm small and inferior and just don't bother buying me that's kind of what it's like with this but I've, that's what i've now had to do because people are yeah let's say I'm, that's all i'm saying three people three people not reading the description not looking at the photographs next to these budweiser glasses they've got 13 pounds plus postage on these i got a load of these was it for a boot sale was it from a charity shop i think it was a charity shop i don't know i bought several lots in the last couple of months a few months and paid like less than 50p each for the vast majority of them but this is the last of these ones the little half pint ones got loads of the pint glasses i thought they'd be the popular ones but no the profit wise what tenner something like that plus postage and this bread bin here got 30 pounds plus postage but unfortunately this one got destroyed not just damaged it got absolutely destroyed by every i have no idea what they did to it it was really well packaged you know how much fragile stuff i send out it doesn't happen often right like don't let it put you off hearing me say that don't let it put you off for selling these things because most of the time absolutely fine but this time smashed to smithereens there is always the chance as well that somebody has just bought the same bread bin they already have that was broken so you do have to factor that in there's going to be a tiny percentage of people who do that unfortunately and that could have been this who knows but more likely it was every destroying it throwing it from a great height we're nearly there it's just up there next one is this rust troll kids 10 pounds plus postage i think this was one of my sisters when she was younger that she didn't want so yeah nothing into it little profit not the most popular one ever and next is these churchill little tins uh, hot air balloon tins these surprise me three uh, 2 .99 each i think it might be 3 .99. I think it was 2 99 each from a charity shop recently didn't hang around long and it's a good profit 30 quid profit something like that just with two empty tins look out for these out there next is these two old bush mill glasses thank you very much to the person who gave me these he bought a wee off me at christmas cheers mate for that sold for 17 pounds plus postage he gave me something else as well, and I can't think what it was. Look at these views here. Just to look at the view down this way. Just this way. Wait until we get up there. I wonder what it'll look like then. Next is this Everbridge Water Limited Edition mug, £14.99 plus postage. These have definitely picked up a bit. They do sell now about once every two weeks. I sell one now, which is not too bad. If they carry on like that, they'll be gone by the summer. So that's fine. And every time I sell one, I make about £8 profit, something like that. Look at these views behind me. Just look at it. kind of that kind of direction over there I was hoping I'd maybe see Blackpool Tower or something but I can't, I can't see anything right let's make the final climb up pounds plus postage on this check out these views up here 
madness. And this is finally sold. This was, I think, my brother's originally, and so I got him for nothing, and it went for £26 plus £3 postage. Kind of like this, it's a pencil sharpener, it's a bit of a random one, but back in the day, my uncle used to work for Land Rover, and he used to get some like random like stuff, like T-shirts and things like that, and he got this, he gave it to my brother. It's one of a kind. I very much doubt anybody out there is going to find another one of these. It's an actual proper wheel nut, I think. Just with, made into a pencil sharpener. Quite random. But not quite as random as me up here telling you about this stuff. This is more random, right? <laughs> Next is some more McDonald's toys, which I've all gone to the same person. Let me see how much they've actually made. They've been 5 for 12 quid for another 17 plus 14, so... £31 plus posting is what they paid in total, which is pretty good. And that's about it. We're heading back down now. I definitely recommend coming here if you're looking for Rivington Pike. It's kind of near Bolton is the nearest place and so I'd never really heard of it before but it's you know a relatively easy climb up really for you know the views you get at the end of it so Rivington Pike which leads me on to the name of my eBay store which a lot of people ask me all the time it's probably the most asked thing I get in the comments and there's various reasons which I won't go into now why I'm not mentioned it previously anyway Rivington Pike my eBay store name is Rivington Gifts and Games so if you want to search that and go and check out my store see what I've got on there buy a couple of things why don't you buy a couple of Dragonettes McDonald's toys why not no but it, it would be a good way of supporting me as a YouTube content creator is that what I am I don't really know I don't I, I kind of cringe a bit when I say that but I guess I guess that's kind of part of what I do now so yeah it'd be a good way of supporting me go in there buy some it don't spend a lot send me a couple of cheeky offers I don't mind um, you know I may well accept if you mention in the offer that you watch the videos then I'll do uh, you know a little bit of a cheaper price on stuff so so there you go Rivington Gifts Un Games. Rivington Gifts Un Games. Go check it out. And yeah, happy shopping. Now, it's completely random that we're here and it's called Rivington Pike. And that's the name of, um, you know, my eBay shop. It's a complete random coincidence. I've got two more quick sales I'm going to tell you about and then I'm going to end it there. We've got this La Crusade pan. This went for £22.99. There were a few marks to it and stuff. It wasn't the best condition one in the world. But it actually went to a restaurant down in London, I think it was. I think I paid about £5 for that from a charity shop back in the days where you could actually find a Le Creuset pan in a charity shop. These days doesn't really happen, I don't know about you guys. Occasionally, occasionally. But not so very often. What's it gonna be? Is there anything there? I don't think there's really anything there, is there? And lastly, we've got these two Funko Pops. These are both from that bundle of Funko Pops I got from the charity shop. I got a load of them for either 50p or a pound. I sold a load, I sold those six, no, four pink Power Ranger ones for like 20 or 30 quid plus postage. And these are just a couple of others, just to kind of, thought I'd mention it, just so you know that they are kind of going in the background slowly but surely and that's it we're going to leave it there i'm going to leave you with this amazing view in front of me yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little look at rivington pike here in the northwest of england until next time i will see you in the next one see ya
Everton, everybody home.